G'day YouTube, so we're in the shed tonight. We got Doritos, got smoky bacon, dip, and we got Zydeco 1650s. Yep, I got a couple of these Milwaukee 9.0 high demand batteries to scrap, pull apart, and get the cells out of. Now, I already know which ones are in these, but uh, these are what you'd definitely call exotic 18650s. This one is Samsung INR 18650-30Qs. These are LG HG2s. So let me show you how to get them out. The first thing you've got to do, once you've got the actual case apart, is there's four Torx T8s in that bottom part of the case. That's what holds them in there. So once you've got that apart, you want a Torx T9. Don't do that. Okay, I'm gonna have to rip that insulator off. Be careful, that whole outside of the battery is live. These are all these massive grab big plates, which transfers the current, which comes out of these beasts of cells. something you really need to be mindful of. So, a pair of pliers and rip. Away from all the other terminals, so just do it in one direction. Like so. You gotta get each of those plates off. Um, need a flat blade as well. And speaking from prior, prior learning experience, Make sure you're wearing shoes wherever you work on these. Not sounds simple, but you know, if you're working in a comfortable workshop that's nice and warm or in the home office stripping cells down, you maybe kick the boots off. If you get one of these in your feet, you'll sing out that loud, the neighbours will come over. They are so sharp. So look at how big that plate is. Nick a strip for days. Some people like to wear gloves. I work all day as a plumber. I only wear gloves in uh, smelly situations with, uh, without too much drama, so I don't mind not wearing gloves. Okay, as you can see, it's a bit of an effort to uh, tear these spot welds off, unlike the earlier versions of these. But hold it down and rip. Sharp. Sharp bloody things. Angry bloody things. But anyway. So that's what you've got to do. You've got to keep working your way through. And the other side. I'll get this one and the other one stripped and then we'll go to step in the next step. Alright then, it's a good thing these cells are quite exotic because uh, they take so long to break into. They are so well built it is almost ridiculous. Even the print, well, might not be printed but the, uh, the framework even shows you negative and positive as they go across. Hopefully you can see that, on, yeah you can see that on the camera. So you want to make sure that you get all these little tabs because they'll just stop the cells from getting out. Make it hard to separate the case. And kind of a, a twisting motion is what I've found so far to be best. Gives you a bit more strength. All right, then we get our driver, which is a T9, remember? I didn't even... Didn't even get to that one. It's taken me this long to get this one done. I need to get a little driver for these. This is too slow. They are threaded a fair way in. So one, two, three.
three. There's number four. Number five. You may have to get it from the side a little bit because number five doesn't allow the Torx driver to fit. If anyone knows of a good source of T8, 9 and 10 focus, security drivers, they've got to have the hole in the centre, they've got to be them tamper proof ones. Um, I need some long ones for pulling things like this apart. If you know a good supplier somewhere, let me know. Otherwise I might just have to resort to eBay or Banggood or somewhere. So once you've got them apart, I've just got this track here that's in your way. Hold him up out of the way. Look at that. So this one's got a temp probe glued on him. I've snapped the wires off. LG DBHG2 865. These little brown cells are what dreams are made of. They're 3 amp hour with 20, 25 amp discharge. Someone correct me. At least 20. Um, they're getting to the pinnacle of high discharge, high quality cells. And they should. Without any magic video editing. Just all fall out once you get to this stage. Ready for the magic? 15. Beautiful. Because they are. They're truly beautiful. LGs. They look very plain in their brown jackets, but uh, they are amazing. No marks on them. Not at all any uh, like electrolyte leaks or anything like that. So, uh, off camera, I'll get this one apart. We'll get these 1530Qs out. And... Uh, We'll have a look at them as well. I'm not sure why there's two different types. Whether they stopped using LG, whether they couldn't get enough LGs. I really don't know. Someone on the uh, inside of Milwaukee might be able to show you, share that information with you. I honestly don't know. But uh, I'll pull this one apart and we'll get these 30 Qs on the bench as well just to show you what the differences are inside. Okay, that one only took me three or four minutes. It was heaps faster. Now look at what we got here. Just give a bit of a push from the back. Out they fall. Now, if you're building a power wall or something, you can put a lot of cells in parallel with. These prob probably aren't the batteries you need to want to go. The ones you want to go chasing are more high capacity, you know, up to 3,500 milliamp laptop style cells. These are 30 Qs, these are HG2s. They are up there with some of the best high demand cells you'll find. Um, they're used in everything from e-bikes, electric toys, vape machines, anywhere where you need a crazy amount of power. And in about 10 or 15 minutes, I've got 30 awesome cells. I'll put them all through the test so I don't have to eat humble pie. We've got 30 awesome 18650s just like that. Thanks heaps for watching guys. If you like seeing unsponsored content like this, it's uh, not a review or something like that, more the old school stuff, give us a thumbs up so I can keep making this kind of unsponsored awesome content. Hopefully this helps someone pull apart their 9 amp or if it's out of warranty and it fails, don't despair like you may. May get your money's well, well and truly back. These would have to be at least five or six US uh, Australian dollars each, and there's 15 of them in a nine amp. So uh, if you can find someone to buy them off, buy them off them. More, there's uh, some, some, some subscribe buttons over here. Spit it out. Some uh, more videos over this side. Thanks for watching as always. I'll catch you on the next video. Cheers, guys.